Creative option number three has to deal with notes you may find that are outside of the scale. For example, in measures 9 and 10 of Take Me Out to the Ball Game, you'll notice the prevailing chord is an A seventh. The melody note, first melody note, is an A. The second melody note is a G sharp. That is outside of the scale. Many melodies have notes that are outside of the scale. So what do you do? You simply play a single note. Let me give you an example. Measure 9, once again, is an A dominant 7th. The melody note, first melody note of the measure is an A. Go to your chord vocabulary and you'll find an A 7th with an A note on top. The next note is G sharp. So all we're going to do is play the single note. Once again, the 10th measure, you'll notice prevailing chord is an A 7th. The melody note is an E. The second note is an F natural. That's outside of the scale. So we play a single note. Right? It's a very simple way to deal with notes outside of the scale and a very acceptable way. And it sounds really good. Another way to approach it is to simply move the chord back. A creative option. So you can either use the single note or move the whole chord back. In measure 10, Instead of the single note, you could see how that note sounds by just playing that note with the existing chord you're playing. Doesn't sound bad. Creative options, making chord melodies your own. That's what this segment is about. Okay, so a quick review. If you have come across a melody note that's outside of the scale, you can play that note as a single note. Or move the chord. Then add the note to the chord you're playing. Simply play the single note. Both sound good. Options. Good to have options. So now let's go on to option number four.